to another brand new video. I hope you're all doing okay. So today I thought I would do a video on um, me tinting my eyebrows at home. I thought I'd show you how I tint my brows. I did have a few questions on what products I use on my brows and how I tint them and stuff. So I thought I would show you a video on this today for you. I'm so sorry I've been away for a whole week. I just needed time to take some time out really, think of new things I could film. I didn't want to just film something completely random off my channel. I didn't want to show you something that I wasn't interested in basically. I want my channel to be all about beauty, fashion and lifestyle. So still basically what I've uploaded now, I've been away for a whole week just to plan things out and to just have a think about things really because I don't want to put something out there that I know you guys are not going to enjoy. I thought I would do um, tinted my eyebrows like I said because most of my people that subscribe to me and stuff they love beauty and I have had a few questions like I said on my Instagram of people asking me if I could film this video for them so of course I said that I would because I literally love all things beauty i did beauty at college for two years so i literally am obsessed with anything to do with beauty so yeah i thought i would show you what products and tint i use on my brows so if you'd like to see how i tint these brows and make them a little bit darker and a bit more snatched then yeah just carry on watching first thing i'm just going to quickly show you is all of my eyebrow stuff so like i said i have so much eyebrow stuff because i used to do this at college so i've got so many tints and these are actually eyebrow and eyelash tints you've got to always make sure that you have cotton wool pads i've got dry ones here and i've just wetted a few ones here i have a mixing little pot so it looks just like this excuse my nail it literally peeled off um got a little mixing pot i have lots of different like applicating brushes um so it's a really thin eyelash tint brush so it's really easy to do i've got loads of these disposable um eyebrow and eyelash little brushes um, and I've just got a few random bits so like some scissors I don't know why I've got them in there I've literally got some nail cute cool nail nippers which I don't need I've got a pen hair bands like literally that's all I keep in my pot and this pot was from b and and then I thought it was super cute to keep all my eyelash and eyebrow stuff in you can also use these shields so I don't ever use these these are just for when you apply um, eyelash tint but I never use them um, just because I know what I'm doing so but if you don't know how to do like eyelash or eyebrow tint I would suggest using some shields if you want to do your eyelashes also got some petroleum jelly so this is just a to put under your eyes to stop it from staining or around your eyebrow area to stop it going on your skin and staining i never use this i never have used it um just because i know i won't get it on my skin and if i do it's it comes off anyway like literally it's not that bad it doesn't stain that bad at all also have some stain remover so like i said if you do get it on your skin i just use this to um remove the eyelash tint off if i keep saying eyelash tint it is eyebrow tint as well it's just i always have a thing of saying eyelash tint um so yeah i got the appraise one i think that's how you say their name literally everything that i use is appraise i literally love their eyebrow and eyelash tint stuff i got the kit from the beauty show as well and i have the tint developer this is a three percent at ten volume one so it comes in a little bottle like this i'm actually starting to run out so i really need to get back onto their website and get some more I just have another little spare mixing pot and then this is the fun bit i have so many eyelash and eyebrow tints i'm literally obsessed so i have one two three i have four dark brown shades so it comes in a little box like this um so yeah this is just shade three in dark brown so i've got four of those i've got a blue black one and this is shade number two um i've got one box of light brown this is in 3.1 i use this on my mum mainly um when i tint her brows and then i've got a gray box and just a black box so this one's the gray one and then this one's the black one 
so that is all my appraise um tints and then these are just the tints that we used at college so i've got the color brown blue black and just black and then the last thing i've got is um so the shields that i showed you at the start of this video come with my college kit and then as you can see i haven't even opened these at all it's still got the protective layer on but these are just the appraise eyelash tinting protecting sheets but like I said, I don't use these. I don't need to use these because I know really what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, that is everything in the box. Now I'm going to get into the tinting process now you've seen everything of my tinting. Right, so I'm going to be doing my eyebrows with the dark brown shade. And again, this is the number three. I don't know how well you can see that. There we go. So it's the dark brown shade and I've got my little mixing pot here. So I always go overboard with putting how much I need in. I just roughly estimate. Um, but you don't really need as much as... Like, you don't even need that much. So about that much, I would say like a little... Not even half a teaspoon, like literally a tiny amount. So with the tint developer, I do random drops. Again, you're meant to do a certain amount of number. I think it's like between six to ten drops i don't know i completely forgot i'm probably completely wrong and people that do beauty are probably like shouting at me right now even though i literally got my degree in beauty i've completely forgot so yeah i do random drops just get your little eyebrow mixing brush so this is a proper eyelash tinting brush and you mix it all in to the developer now, when you're mixing, if you feel like you haven't got enough um, dye, then make sure to put some more in. But I think I've actually done the correct amount that I actually need for once. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go straight in and show you how I do it. Um, I'll bring you a little bit closer. Okay, so this is probably a bit too up close and personal, but it's the only way you'll be able to see. So we're going to go straight in. So get a little bit of dye on your brush. And you're literally just going to do strokes all over your eyebrow. Again, if you don't know how to tint your brows and you've never done it before, make sure you use some sort of like Vaseline. You can use this. Or again, you can just, if you've got one that's come in your kit, if you want to buy a kit, um, just make sure you apply Vaseline up here and also underneath here and a little bit here. So you just don't dye any of your skin. Um, but like I said, I don't really need it because I've done it for so long now. So I know what I'm doing. And even if I do get it on my skin, it comes off anyway, so it's not too bad. So I'm just going to follow my natural brow shape. I do apply quite a lot of tint on my brows, just so I know it's all on there. So what I do, I tend to just do it really roughly. And then I normally get a cotton wool pad and outline where my natural brow shape is. So I still sort of follow my brow shape anyway, um, but I just do it roughly and then I get a cotton wool pad and just outline it. So that you can see is very thick. So I just go ahead and get a wet cotton wool pad, fold the cotton wool pad in half. I need to make sure I don't get this on my carpet and I just outline my brow shape. And then fold again. Make sure you don't literally get any tint on your floor because it will stain. Okay, so that is one brow all applied. And you just want to leave this on. Look, I've got some eyebrow tint in my lashes. I'm going to leave this on for about... Um, one to five minutes i know people can leave it on longer because they prefer to have the dark brow but i just feel like if i have darker brows i'm sorry if i keep looking this way it's really irritating i keep looking at myself on my phone when i'm actually meant to look at the little camera bit there um but yeah i don't like mine too dark i just feel like it makes me look a bit silly so i just leave it on to one to five minutes and i will take it off as soon as i have done this brow because that works out right time in then
Okay, so as you can see, I'm looking a little bit crazy, um, but I've just applied both um, tints on both eyebrows now. So they are looking very creepy. Um, they look a bit odd. That's because not every girl has exactly the same eyebrows on each side. I'm going to remove this side now. If it's not dark enough for me, I would then go and apply a second um, like layer of it. You just literally want to remove it like that and as you can see already um it has darkened my eyebrows up you don't ever want to pluck your brows before you tint because you don't want the tint getting in your follicle bit where you've just tinted them um because it can really irritate your skin if you do that so always make sure you pluck your eyebrows after so this is what it's looking like i do want it a bit darker at the front um so i'm just going to apply a bit of tint at the front so again i just want a bit more filled at the front it's not quite dark enough for my liking yet um so i'm just going to go over this brow again with a second layer just to darken them up a bit more So much better um i always find like the next day it goes a bit more darker i'm not like loads more darker that is perfect how i want my eyebrows to be so again i'm just gonna brush it out there we go you can see the sparse at the front more now okay perfect color i'm now gonna go and remove this and then i will show you my next step go ahead and pluck all of my hairs under here just to make them a bit more sharp I've just finished a plucking both my eyebrows. I've still got a few sparse ones, but they're so stubborn, they just won't come out. My brow gel I use is actually just the Color Lash one. You've all seen it in all my makeup um, tutorials. So this is just the collection one. It's the all day wear color mascara. So I just like to plump my brows up this. And it literally gives it, look at that already. It's giving it such a nice eyebrow shape. Just really like to plump the front bit up. And then I did have no brow products, so I'm gonna have a go at using my NYX lip liner pencil. Um, this is in the shade Nude Beige. And I'm just gonna literally fill my brow in like the tiniest bit with this, cause I don't actually need to fill it in that much. There we go, that's literally all you need to do is lightly do that. And then again, just go back over with the brow gel and look how nice my brow looks like compared to that one it's so nice and fluffy it's really filled my brows out at this if you compare it to the start of this video to now it's really filled my brows out and i've got a really nice definition as well i used to get hd brows done but i just think this is just as good um it lasts like a good amount of time as well and I don't have to spend like ridiculous amount of money to get my brows done either because I can just do it myself and that is how I tint my brows and what products I use really so like I said I use all of the appraise products I literally highly recommend this uh, I literally just love using their tin it lasts such a long time it's really a professional stuff as well and i literally am just obsessed with their stuff so if you're looking into getting some tint then i recommend them highly um but yeah that is everything um i'll just give you a little close up Okay, so that is the end of this little eyebrow tinting tutorial for you guys. I hope you really enjoyed. I literally love everything to do with beauty. So I'm so happy I filmed this for you guys. And now you can see what products I used. Um, but yeah, I'm literally obsessed with my brows when I first get them done. Uh, it will last between like two to three weeks and then I'll just top it up again. Um, but yeah, 
this is how you get snatched brows without using any brow products really i hope you really enjoyed this tutorial um don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and also subscribe down below and yeah that is everything for me and i'll see you next time in my next video bye guys